What's going on YouTube? Gene Seer. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Hippowdon Sand team that also features Iron Valiant. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. We got all new content coming you guys' way. Brand new channel rebranding. Cannot wait for that coming very very soon so hopefully you guys hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my content but before we get started here with today's team preview i gotta give a huge shout out to team creator fisk thank you so much for sending this team in my twitter dms cannot wait to use it and cannot wait to grab some wins with this team as well but we got Hippowdon starting off in that top left corner. Hippowdon has Sandstream as his ability and is going to be our Sandstorm setter. Most of the time people use T-Tart, but this team has Hippowdon and I'm kind of excited to use it. It's got the Pasha Berry as its item and then rocking EQ, Rock Slide, Yawn and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Gargonac, one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the game with Purifying Salt and Leftovers as its item. It's got Salt here, Heavy Slam, Recover and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for any Gargonac. Houndstone is going to be our third Pokemon. That is going to be Hippowdon's best friend. Considering it has Sand Rush, it doubles its speed in the Sandstorm. It has Spell Tight to boost Ghost Damage moves. Then it has Last Respects, Play Rough, Destiny Bond, and Protect. Our one and only Paradox Pokemon on this team is going to be Iron Valley, one of my favorite futuristic forms in the game, with Quirk Drive and the Focus Ash as item. It's got Moon Blast, it's got Aurora Spear, both for Stab, and it's got Energy Ball for Coverage and Protect for its final move. Arcanine is going to be a great Pokemon for our team. That is, this is going to be our fifth Pokemon. And Arcanine, again, is just one of those Pokemon that you can legit put on any team. And he's going to thrive out strong. With Intimidate, will o -Wisp and Snarl, dropping attack and special attack is no problem. This Arcanine also has Safety Goggles as item. And then its final two moves is Protect and Flamethrower for a nice solid special attacking Fire Stab move. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our heavy special attacker. That is going to be Rotom Wash over here with Levitate and Choice Specs. It has Thunderbolt, it has Hydro Pump and Volt Switch, and its last move is going to be Discharge. Hits every Pokemon on the field, so if we can get that Pokemon out with Hippowdon, we can dodge that move and just freely send Discharges at our will. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Valiant Sand team. First match coming at you guys, let's grab ourselves a swing. Going up against a pretty strong team, they have Volcarona, Backscalibur, if I had to guess, that's Loaded Dice Backscalibur, and then they also have King Gambit, King Gambit, uh, Amoongus, Iron Hands, and last but not least, Fluttermane. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I'm kind of leaning towards that lovely little Sand Combo, right? Sand Combo seems to get some work done. I mean, he has Fake Out Iron Hands, we could get after it. But I, I, I do like this. I do like these two. So I'm going to end up leading both these Pokemon. And we're going to get ripping after it. So I'm going to bring in both of those. Iron Valiant seems like a must bring here. And then last but not least. Do I bring my boy Snarls Barkley? One of the coolest names I've seen in Pokemon. That's a great name. I love that name. But do I bring Snarls Barkley here? Or do I bring in a Pokemon more so like Gargle Knackle? Because he can get some work done. Gargle can't get some work done. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking Gargi here. I really like Gargonacle. We're going to bring that Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one and start off today's video with a victory. But before I even recorded today, I was watching the Pokemon Presents, and that was actually pretty cool. Showed a bunch of updates and everything, but the most important thing that they showed was the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Looking really cool. They didn't get to showcase too much. They kind of just announced and showed the box art legendaries for the DLC, and they look tough. They did look really cool, so I'm super excited for it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he ends up leading these two. Um, I mean, I can deal with that. I mean, I can EQ and protect if I wanted to, which I think is going to be my play. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to EQ protect. Hopefully, the King Gambit... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, hopefully the King Gambit does the Trashlize, but that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to end up Trashlizing into some other typing, right? Oh, cool. Flying! The worst possible typing. So smart terror from them. Hopefully they go after my uh Hopefully they go after my boy though. My houndstone, because next turn I can just throw some rock sides. But we'll see. Kata Cleave is going to come into you. That's fine. I might end up terrestrializing at this point now. And then go from there. And EQ is also gonna fly. So EQ really does nothing. It's just gonna chip up a little bit of damage onto the uh Amoongus. And then Amoongus is just gonna spore me. That sucks. Amoongus ends up swarming me. Uh, I could hard swap out if I want to. Do I want to hard swap out here? He's just going to swarm me again. We already know that's happened. 
Um, hmm. Definitely want to go for rock side. But it might just terrasize you. And start throwing play rocks across the board. Because I doubt he follows me here, right? I really do doubt he, he goes for following me. I think he's just going to go for like a sucker punch or like a count out cleave. Something along those lines. I could end up swapping, which could be good. I could end up swapping into a Pokemon like you. Nice little fairy type here. Hmm. Hmm. What is my play here? I think I'm going to swap to Valiant. Actually, I really don't want to because then he just puts me to sleep. I'm going to end up Terrasize and just throw, throw a normal play rough into the King Gambit slot. Hoping he doesn't uh, go for a Rage Powder here. It could be bad. It could be bad, but we got to have to deal with the, the, the whole Spore thing. The Spore thing seems like it's a problem. So I'm just going to Terrasize my Houndstone. Hopefully he's going for like a sucker punch or something. And we just soak it up, no problem. And then we kind of go from there. So player going to fly here. He's definitely going for another cat out cleave. Good thing no rage power comes out here. And we literally do no damage. I thought we were going to do a little bit more. Here comes the cat out cleave. We soak pretty well. And he's going to put me to sleep, aren't you? You going to put me to sleep? You going to slump me? Is that is that your plan? Leaf storm coming out here. Oh, good thing you did miss. Good thing you did miss. Hit power down. Outspeed this thing. Outspeed, or not outspeed. Wake up here. You're already outspeed. The buffets are flying around here. I'm going to drop another rock slide. And... Ch -ch -ch. I could Destiny Bond. I mean, he's not going to kill me, right? I would rather Destiny Bond next turn. I'm just going to start chipping up damage onto Amoongus. Hoping my uh, my boy wakes up. So he goes for the Rage Power this turn. That's fine. We switch our moves. Into our ghost move. Last respect's gonna fly out here. Do a little bit of damage. And we're hoping our hip out on can wake up here. We're hoping our hip out on can wake up here. And he ends up killing me. Nice little iron head comes out here. Takes us out. That's fine. Because hip out on to wake up here and dump on it. Get a hip out on. Need you, big boy. He does wake up. Let's go. Land this rock slide. Oh no. Who dodged it? King Gambit? What is going on here? King Gambit dodges this? Get on out of here. What's that about? So King Gambit dodges that. Um, we're gonna have to bring out something to kill the Moongus. I'm not gonna bring out you. I have Focus Ash, but it's a problem. It's definitely a problem. I think I just protect you and drop another Rock Slide. I have to protect the Valiant here. I know we outspeed because the thing is, if uh, he Rage Powders the shot, if he ends up Rage Powdering the shot, he can hit me, bring me down to Focus Ash with an Iron Head, and then. Uh, then the buffets will just take me out, so I'm not looking to deal with that. I'm looking to just protect my boy, get after that way, and go from there. But I understand. He missed a Leaf Storm. I missed a Rock Slide. Kind of evens out here. Um, but I'm going to just protect the Valiant here. Iron Head is going to come into that slot. We're going to be able to block. Can you land your Rock Slide this time, Hippowdon? I don't ask for much. I don't ask for much. Thank you. Thank you, Hippowdon. And why are you doing so little damage? You're doing, like, nothing here, man. You were doing, like, nothing here. Literally nothing. You were doing nothing. The storm is going to lower our special attack. I do not have focus sash anymore. I do not have the sash anymore. I might hard swap again. Keep my valiant out here. Rock slide. I'm thinking of hard swap. I need my valiant. I'm going to hard swap into my Gargi. I'm hard swapping into my Gargo Knuckle here. I need my iron valiant. He's just going to throw another iron head into that slot. And if he rage powers, that would be the smart play to do. He'd be chilling, yeah. So good hard shot from us. And Iron Head's gonna fly here. Do some damage, but still, I need my Valiant full HP. I really do. Rock Side's gonna fly here. We're gonna be able to KO both, and we'll go from there. Okay, I, I can get down with that. And we're not sitting terrible, but they have speed on us, which sucks. Absolute speed. So Gargonacle was able to soak that way better than Valiant would have, so I like that. I wish the Sandstorm was still out. We could have gotten a huge boost from that. Or well, defensive boost from it. But we'll see. Oh no, the King Gambit survives now because the Buffets aren't... Mm. Brain hurts, brain hurts. Baxcalibur's going to be next Pokemon out here. Um, hmm. He's going to KO my hip out on. I'm going to throw a Salt Cure over onto it. I'm going to protect my hip out on. I'm going to throw a Salt Cure over onto him. And we'll see what they want to end up doing. Ice Spear coming into it. Ice Shard. That works. We're going to block that. I think Gargi can eat up whatever King Gamma has to offer. 
Like Iron Head coming in here. You should be able to eat this up. Love you. Love you. That's a big time eat up there. Nah, yo. Nah, nah, nah. Flinching. Flinching now. Come on. That just ruined everything for me. That just ruined everything for me. Is that a fighting shot here? I had a shot at this match. I had a shot at this match. Now I don't know what to do. I need to be able to eat up this, uh... I need to be able to eat up this, uh, Ice Shard. It's my only way. I need to be able to eat up the Ice Shard, which I don't think we can. I flinched from an Iron Head. Come on now, eat this up. Hold up, wait a minute. Sucker, oh wow, I could've recovered. I could've recovered here. Rockside land, thank you. We get rid of Gamby. Um... Hmm. What is the play here? What is the play? We still have Valiant in the back end, but yo, that flinch really did me dirty. Cause that salt cure was big, big. That was a big time salt cure. That was a big time salt cure. So obviously he just wants to ice shard me again. 100%. 100% he just wants to ice shard me again. Uh, and his final Pokemon is going to be what? Fluttermane? Iron Hands, even worse. Even worse. I mean, that's not bad, but could be better. I really want to go for the yawn here. I <laughs> would love to put this thing to sleep. If I get off a of recover, that'd be pretty good for us. But this thing's just going to rip into me. I'm going to go for the recover. I might as well, right? He's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. It's going to be my Gargi. My Gargi ends up beating. He's going to Ice Shard down my, uh, my hip pound on. And now I can get after it. I'll get Iron Valley back out here. This is a solid match. This is a solid match, but dude, if I had that salt cure hit, Baxcalibur slowly dies here, and I have a very good chance of winning this battle. Now, they have a better chance of winning this battle, but I still have Iron Valiant, which is going to be really good. No terrestrialization on the field. I don't have it. They don't have it. Whew. It's a good battle. It's a good battle. It's a good battle. Um, I really want to rip into you, right? I really just want to take you out. So I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just trying to get off this recover, because if I can get off this recover, that could be big time. I mean, not really, because he could just Dream Punch me, but I really want to just start trying to get some HP back. Moonblast's going to fire. We're going to get rid of the Baxi. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. And we'll see what Iron Hands wants to do here. So you can, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Thunder Punch. Can you eat this, Valley? You can. That's big time. That's big time. That's big time there. That's big time. That's big time. Because now I get some HP back. Leftovers coming in hot here. I know they have Drain Punch, but I really want to try to get off of Salt Cure onto that thing. And I'm thinking of just protecting this turn. Because I really do think you go after my Valiant. And at this point, I can get off a Salt Cure. I do like that. I do not think you go after my Gargi. I really do not think. And I'm going to take a risk on that play. I'm going to take a risk on this play. I'm going to take a big risk on this play. Let's go. That's a huge block from us. That's a huge block. But it's just time to set up the Salt Cure. Deal some damage to it. And now I can throw in my Moon Blast and chip up as much damage as I possibly can. So Salt Cure is going to be chipping. We like that. And I get back a little bit of HP here. So now I throw the Moon Blast. Moon Blast obviously not going to one-shot KO, but still. That turn buys us time. It buys us a little bit of time for Salt Cure to start chipping. I would love to try to land Double Protect, but there's no point of doing that. So a Moon Blast here. And I don't even know what would do more damage. I honestly don't. I wish I had Terror here. I wish I had Terry here. We're gonna go for that Moon Blast here. How much damage are you doing, Valiant? No, you KOing like that. You KOing like that. Okay, never mind. Awesome. Dope. We'll take that match in the bag. Let's go. That was a hard fought match from us. We end up picking up that dub. Iron Valiant clutches up at the end there. So when it comes to Iron Hands, most of them are Assault Vested and max out in Special Defense on the EV. So I thought that thing was soaking, but turns out I guess that thing was not Assault Vested. We just ripped right through it with the Moon Blast and took a big fat dub. But we're hopping into our second match, going up against a top tier Series 1 team. So no Parallax Pokemon, but this team is definitely still very strong and could do work on me. Considering I only have one Parallax Pokemon, it's not like I have a huge advantage here. I don't even think I have an advantage at all, but very strong team here. Baxcalibur, Gargonackle, Golden Go, who's amazing. Miyaskarada, who you haven't seen too much in Series 2. And then he has the Mimikyu and the Water Toro. So from here, I feel like Iron Valley gets a lot of work done. Super effective on the most. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. Iron Valley for the lead. 
and his speed's very high. Aren't you, isn't your speed pretty high? 184, love that. So I'm going to go in with you. I am going to also, do I lead this Pokemon? I'm thinking I lead you, right? Well, Snarl's Barkley seems pretty powerful here, right? Intimidates can get some work done. We're, we're solid all around. So I'm going to end up leading those two. I kind of want you. I kind of want you, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you, and then I'm going to bring the Gargi. Gargonaka was huge in match number uh, one. I felt like uh, if that Iron Hands wasn't a Soul Vest and all that, the Soul Cure would have been huge. But we also flinched. We also flinched, which I thought lost us the battle, that flinch. But we ended up bringing ourselves out of that hole and winning that battle. I thought we played really well with the swaps and all that. So, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself on that one. But Taurus and Gargonaka is going to come out here. I don't mind that. Um... My heart's on my Arcanine. Intimidate's gonna work wonders here. We love it. Both my Pokemon are special attacking, so that's huge. And Intimidate's gonna fly on two physical attackers. So from here, I'm thinking of just throwing a Moonblast into that Pokemon. I'm thinking of doing that. I definitely want to swap Arcanine into a Pokemon more so like Rotom here. I feel like Rotom could be solid here. Or I can go into Gargonacle of my own. Don't really matter. But I, if I bring out you, I can just straight up Hydro Pump down the... Uh, the gargoyle knuckle. but i'm just gonna play it straight forward i am just gonna moon blast and i am just gonna hard swap straight in the time here get my choice specs boy out here my choice specky my choice spec boy which i would not mind throwing a hydro pump right into that gargoyle knuckle and dump on it oh but Taurus right here might uh terrestrialize. we'll see it does not so good thing i just straight up moon blast that thing and just told it to go home Taurus, get on out of here go home <coughs> Get on out my face. Salt Cure's gonna come out here. That's fine. You got Salt Cure into my Rotom. I'm actually, that's gonna do a lot of damage to my Rotom. I might have to hard swap Rotom again. I might have to hard swap Rotom again. Save, save it for later. That did a little bit too much damage. The Salt Cure does a lot of damage to water types. So if he goes to a physical attacker like that, I'm gonna swap my Rotom for my, uh, for my, what's it called? For my Arcanine. So from here, I could straight up energy ball. And I could tear it into steel if I want to. But then all that does a lot of damage. I'm thinking of just a war spearing right here. Just in case he wants to terrestrialize. I think Moonblast might be your play. Moonblast and Heart Swap the Rotom back in Arcanine. <laughs> I like it. I dig it a lot. So we're gonna get back out my boy Snarls Barkley here. He came to play. He came to play. We're gonna throw out another big time intimidate. And we're going to roll out from there. So two physical attackers. Gargonacle is down minus two. Masquerade is minus one. And he is going to end up terrestrializing. Into what type? What is your typing? Straight grass, maybe? Straight grass. Straight grass. We're kind of hoping you're going after the Rotom slot. I would be surprised if you're, if you're uh, going after the Rotom slot. Because I feel like Gargonacle's Salt Cures is kind of ripping through it. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Moonblast gonna fly here. Chip up some nice lovely damage. And Flower Tricks can come out here. Into Valiant, I think. No, into the Rotom slot. So that's a big time slot from us. <clears throat> Again, I'm super surprised that, that he would go after that slot. Gets guaranteed crit. Does a lot of damage, low key. And I think and I think from here we just go into energy ball. And we try to just flamethrower this slot down. Okay, Miascarada ends up protecting. It's fine with throwing an energy ball. And we're gonna deal some nice damage to that. And I think I might throw a burn onto that thing. I might throw a burn onto that thing. Ooh, special defense drop. We like that. We like that all day. We like that all day. He's gonna end up salt curing me. I think I burn him. Right? I think I burn him this turn. Throw a will o wisp onto that thing just so it doesn't stall out and beat me later in the match. <clears throat> and then we have my Iron Valley who outspeeds at Miascarada. Can just uh, take it out. So I think that's our play. I think that's our play. We gotta start. We gotta start getting some work done on that thing. So I'm just gonna go for a lovely little Aurora Spear. Actually, who could he swap into? That's the real question. Could go into Gold and go. A little scary. Makes you want to go into Moonblast more so than anything. So yeah, Moonblast is gonna be our play. And then I'm just gonna whip this uh, Willow Wisp here. Going for the Willow Wisp. Gargonacle lands. Was that a double protect? Oh uh, no, he protected me out of last turn. Iron Valley goes for Sucker Punch. That's fine. We soaked that all day. No problem. Moonblast is coming out here. He wants Salt Cure to deal as much damage as it possibly can. So it would have been smart to actually Sucker Punch my Arc 9, but we were going for a Willow, so it would have missed anyway. 
but I like that turn. I like the turn. So he's down to two Pokemon. We still have all four of ours. Rotom can outspeed and just get rid of the Gargonackle now that he doesn't have Thrasilization. But again, I want to throw a burn onto this thing. I do want to throw a burn onto this Pokemon. Salkir's going to chip up a little bit more. I think we have one more turn left in Arcanine. Hopefully the Pokemon he throws out isn't faster than my Arcanine. It's going to be Mimikyu, and I think it actually is with a nice little Shadow Sneak. So I feel like from here, uh, we definitely just get rid of his... Uh, <laughs> we definitely just get rid of its uh, disguise here, right? Take off that disguise. We can take that Pokemon out later. And now we're gonna. We're probably gonna see Arcanine drop out here, right? Actually, no, he play offs into my Valiant. That's fine. So he ends up taking out my Valiant. We take off disguise. Can we land this burn? Will time? Thing is, Orb 2. Will of course, misses. Oh no, has, what am I doing? What am I doing? That was dumb. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Why didn't you guys tell me that? It's all good. That's that's uh Arcanine's dead. So we were pretty much just wasting a turn there. We really went for a will o wisp I always forget about purifying salt. Always forget about it. <laughs> we do live on one, which is I mean not bad. And from here, I think we bring out our Gargonackle and we just try to get rid of Mimikyu. Because again, if I can make this into like a 2v1. If I can just get my uh I still have terrestrialization here as well. But if I can legit just make this into like a 2v, uh, a 2v1 and have my, uh, have my, what's it called out here? We can really do some work. My, what is it? My Rotom Wash. Because I can just legit, I just pump that down. <laughs> so I can I can drop out here due to the salt cure. And this kind of, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this next turn coming out here. Hmm. Because Mimikyu outspeeds me. He has a chance to KO me. This is tough. This is tough. So down goes my Arcanine. Don't like that. Don't like that. Now I'm going to bring out my Rotom. And I don't know how much Rotom can eat up. Or if it even outspeeds these Pokemon. They both just waste their protects. I kind of want to see your speed, Rotom. What's your speed, old pal? 151, that's... Mm, I don't know if that's faster than Mimikyu. That's got to be kind of close. But I'm going to Heavy Slam here. And I'm going to hope that we outspeed this thing and just get rid of this Gargonackle. Hydro Pump, beautiful. Awesome, dope. Stab, choice spec, super effective. That's GG. That's GG. Get this Gargonackle on out of here. My Gargonackle can solo this Mimikyu all day. And it is game, set, match. And that's exactly why I need to outspeed there. That's exactly why I said, hopefully we outspeed. That was legit the game right there. That was the game. Because if he outsped me... My Rotom goes down here. He wins his match all day long. Actually, probably would have been pretty close, right? Probably would have been pre pretty close, to be honest. But still, that just gave us the upper hand. We end up taking match number two. We're 2-0. Two Let's hop to a third. Look for that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a full-blown Trick Room team. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? They did the Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo alongside with Iron Hands, Brute Bonnet, and then their main Trick Room setter, which is going to be Hatterbean over here. But they have two other Pokemon that can also set Trick Room with Arm Rouge and Indeedee. So this one, I think it's going to be tough. We're 2-0. We guaranteed ourselves a winner record. But I'm thinking of leading Snarls Barkley, right? Do I lead Snarls? I think we gotta lead this guy. I like him. I like the snarl out here. I do really like that. So I am gonna end up leading this Pokemon. Um, who else should I lead here? I could bring in the Valiant. I mean, the Valiant isn't too bad here. I mean, it would get dumped on by the Indeedee combo if he wants to end up going with that. Or I can legit just lead Sand combo, which I think might be your best bet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna lead the Sand combo. So Sand combo is gonna come out here. I am going to bring Snarl's Barkley into that, and then Iron Valiant is our best bet right or we could play up on the trick room right and just bring gargi play stall but i just don't like that i need valiant i feel like i need valiant right hmm i don't know man i guess we're gonna do it we have nine seconds to pick we have nine seconds to pick we have to lock in we have to lock in gargonacle might have been clutch here but still this one seems like it's gonna be a tough battle all around for us but I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope. We already guarantee yourselves a winning record. So today's video definitely a big time dub. Hopefully, you can grab ourselves a perfect record. That would be amazing because we've been playing pretty solid today, making some good plays, making some good swaps, all that good stuff. 
So Iron Hands and Indeedee comes out. Kind of defeats the purpose right there of leading Iron Hands. You can't fake out with Indeedee on the field. So <laughs> Psychic Surge is going to come out here. He cannot fake out. We do not mind it. And from here, could see a follow me, maybe like bulk up kind of thing, right? Less respects has no effect on that. Uh, I could tear and just play rough. Definitely an option, and I think I'm going to do that. I really want to EQ. I really want to EQ. I could just protect EQ. See how much damage that's going to do. You know, yeah, we're not going to waste a tower just yet. Protect EQ coming in hot. And we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Gleam's coming out here. So he wants to Gleam with, with Indeed, doobly. And Iron Hands is showing. I feel like Iron Hands has Sword Stance, right? I feel like it has Sword Stance, which is definitely scary. It's definitely scaring me a little bit. It's definitely scaring me. Hippowdon's not going to do any crazy damage, but it's going to chip up some nice shots. And this thing is dancing with the swords. So it's dancing with the swords here. Um, we're hoping Follow Me's not coming out here, right? I might have to pray that Follow Me doesn't come out here, because i got to Terrasalize, and i got to go for this play rough. And i got to EQ onto my Houndstone at the same time, right? It's a must. That's a must, because we have to get rid of this Iron Hands right here, right now, if we want to, if we want a chance to win this match. So we're going to hope that Indeedee just goes for its normal dash and gleam, and then we outspeed from there and just rip onto this uh, this Iron Hands, and then just take it out. Because that could be a big time turn from us. That could be definitely a big time turn from us. So we're going to end up doing that. We're terrestrializing. We're getting after this thing. Let's get some work done here. Let's get some work done. No follow me's. Terror comes out from him as well. That's a big time terror. Grass terror as well. It's big time. Ruin my whole thing. Now he's just going to be ripping into me. Fire Terror. That's not bad. I mean, my ground move is still going to be super effective into it. I could de I could Destiny Bond it. Follow me does come out here regardless. Okay. I mean, that's alright. I think I might Destiny Bond next turn. I just might Destiny Bond next turn. We do a good enough amount of damage to finish off in DD this next turn. EQ is going to come out of here. See you later in DD. Chip up some nice damage on the Iron Hands. And we'll see what he wants to do, because we outspeed him, which is huge, which is big time. And Fire Punch is going to fly here. So I could have just Destiny Bond this thing. That's going to take me out. Wow, Destiny Bond would have been an amazing play. But I still feel like we're sitting pretty fine. I mean, he doesn't have speed. Our moves probably going to come out here next, which kind of sucks. And you know what? I'm just going to Intimidate here. I'm just going to Intimidate, because I know EQ could just finish that thing off. I'm going to save my Valiant. We do have the safety goggles on this uh, Arcanine as well. So Snarls Barkley coming out and about. Loving this thing. I think Arm Rouge is going to come out here. No, it's going to be Hatterene. Okay, I can deal with Hatterene. So Intimidate's going to help us out here. Um, I feel like I just protect EQ. Let him set up Trick Room if he wants to. <clears throat> I think we let him. And did that thing not get Intimidated? Did not. It has to be Clear Amulet. Right? Did not get Intimidated. It's got to be amulet. But wouldn't it say he's amulet? I didn't really get a chance to see that. But from here? Huh. I feel like Iron Hand's got to protect you, right? And he sets up Trick Room. I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to protect EQ. Or I could just do this instead. I can snarl here. And instead of EQ and just drop a rock slide. Just in case he wants to protect here. He withdraws Iron Hands. Okay, that, that's fine. Who are you going to go into kind, sir? This will be its final Pokemon. It's going to be Armors. So Snarl's going to work wonders here. Snarl is going to be big here. Minus one on both special attackers. And Rock Slide coming in hot. So maybe we get a flinch here. Maybe we get some flinches here. Maybe we get a flinch on Hatterene. Give it to me. Trick him out. Okay, that's fine. I mean, minus one, minus one. I can deal with that all day. So we have the minuses here. We have the minuses. We still have Valiant in the back end. It does have Focus Ash. That could be good for one-on-one -on -one situation. Uh, from here, Snarls definitely a play again. Keep throwing the Snarls, and I guess we just keep dropping Rock Slides, right? They don't have Terra, which is good. We should keep Snarling. Keep dropping that special attack. That's what we got to do right now. So he's going to end up with Shaw and Hatterene. That's totally fine, because I can finish off this Iron Hands no problem here. He might protect the armor, just to have fake out on the field, but we would take out him anyway. So no, he keeps on the field. That's gonna be GG's. That is going to wrap up this match. That's wrapping up this match. My boy eats this up.
all day. Snarl Sparkly coming out here. Bang. See you later. Both of them gone. Your boy is buzzing right now. I'm buzzing today. 3-0 record. Perfect record. No problem. No problem. It's no problem. And I thought we were going to struggle up against this team, but we actually played this one really, really well. Really, really well. Really, really well. But I just think it was more so bad swaps on our opponent's side. He swapped into some uh, bad Pokemon at some bad times when we were using Snarl, when we were using Rock Slide. I didn't think that Terra was all that good. Into the, the Fire Terra. But, you know, I'll take that all day. I'm just going to Snarl here. I'm just going to pop some more Rock Slides. And I think our opponent cancels battle, right? No, he stays in here a little bit. He's going to stay in here a little bit. I'm just going to Snarl it down. Have my Valiant come out here and rip this thing up. The Rock Slide's going to cook a little bit. Snarl's going to drop a special attack. It's a game set match. I don't think he can. He might be able to kill my Hippowdon. But not my Arcanine. Not my Arcanine. Then from here, I'm just going to throw a nice little big flamethrower. Drop an EQ if we can. And that's game set match. So Gleam comes out here. Probably takes out my Hippowdon. No, we both we both live. We both live. And it was kind of dumb to drop this EQ. Because I'm going to KO my Arcanine. But I think we KO had at the same time here. Yeah, awesome. Dope. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record with this amazing Sandcorn team that features Iron Valiant. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a wonderful video for you guys today. 3-0, grab ourselves a perfect record with this off-meta-ish team. We had Hippowdon and Houndstone for our Sandcorn, and then we had Iron Valiant, Gargonacle, Rotom, and Arcanine, which all thrived out in many of the different battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.